Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible. As we read the King James Version Bible, the New Testament, Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us and guide us. Thank you for answering a prayer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, here we read in chapter 4, Exhortation to Unity. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to have a walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long-suffering, bearing with one another in love. Verse 3. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Explanation 2 of unity. Yes, explanation of unity. Verse 4. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called in one hope of your calling. Verse 5. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Means for unity, the gifts. Verse 7. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, he says, when he ascends on high, he leads captivity, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Verse 9. Now this, he ascended. What does it mean? But that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth. Verse 10. He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. Purpose of the gifts. Verse 12. For the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness by which they lie in wait to deceive. Verse 15 But speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head Christ. Verse 16 From whom the whole body join and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love put off the old man verse 17 this i say therefore and testify in the lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the hardening of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over to liciousness to work all uncleanliness with greediness. But you have not 
so learned Christ. If indeed you have heard him and have taught him by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt, according to the deceitful lust. Put on the new man, verse 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, verse 24, and that you put on the new man, which was created according to God in righteousness and true holiness. Therefore, putting away lying, each one speaks truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Verse 26. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Verse 27. Nor give place to the devil. Verse 28. Let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands. What is good that he may have something to give him who has need? Verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Grieve not the Holy Spirit, and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and he and be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, just as God in Christ also forgave you. Hallelujah. Amen. Here ends the reading, Ephesians chapter 4. Yes, beloved, beautiful word of God, as we get the guidance in every way to put on the new man, also to grieve not the Holy Spirit. Yes, every guidance we will find in the Bible, beloved, whether it is for our personal our improvement for the business, for the finances, for the home needs, for the peace, for the love, for the joy. Yes, every the sector of life, we find the answers as we read the Bible. Yes, so let us make it a point every day to take out half an hour to read the Bible and to pray. For when we pray, we are speaking to God. And when we read the Bible, God is speaking to us, beloved. Yes, so let us be encouraged, for this is the manna to our soul. The Bible, it is the roadmap of life. Yes, beloved, as Jesus Christ is knocking at the door of your heart and my heart, let us receive him, and also he will come and sup with us. As we read in Revelation 3, verse 20, we should always thank the Lord, for yes, we have got the Bible, yes, for where we get the instruction, the guidance, the laws, the commands, and also abundance of blessing. It is written in Revelation chapter 1 verse 3, He who reads the word and he who hears, both of them are blessed, beloved. The words are true, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8, Heavens and earth shall pass away, as it also says in Matthew 24-35, Heavens and earth shall pass away, but his word will not pass away. Yes, beloved, every kind of guidance, every kind of instruction, and every kind of the laws are there in the Bible. Yes, beloved, let us seize the day and be victorious in life. The word says, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13 verse 8. What is your request, my dear brother, my dear sister? Yes, Jesus Christ is present with us right now. Not tomorrow, not day after tomorrow. Right now. As the word says, as we read, it says, yes, he is present right now. Now is the time of salvation. Now is the time of Lord's favor. Yes, beloved, he is the maker of heaven 
and earth. The words are true. Psalm 121. The word says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is a keeper. The Lord is a shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. Yes, beloved. As the word says, as we read in Job 24, it says, yes, yes, it says, all the purpose in my life is as per his appointment. It speaks in Job 23, verse 14. The words are true, beloved. Yes. So, as we commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, we will be a changed man, a changed woman, a new man, new woman. Yes. As we read just now from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4. Yes. The words are true. Yes. We will also give away all the wrath. The word says, as we read in Psalm 37, forsake wrath, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Many times these may lead us to the wrong path. Yes, beloved, for we will have the peace and the joy of Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, as Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. He is our Emmanuel, Ebenezer, God with us. God will help us. Yes, he is a Yahweh Ire. God will provide. Genesis 22 verse 14. Yes, he is our Ebenezer, Yahweh Ire, Yahweh Shama. God is over there. As we read in Ezekiel 48 verse 35. Yes, he is our Yeshua Sarah Shalom, Yeshua Tizit Kenu, Yeshua Tazurusi. He is a mighty God. Yes, beloved. He is a banner. He is a Yeshua Nasi. As we read in Isaiah 11 verse 10. Yes, as we see in the book, it is written in the Bible that Moses raises hands and the Amalekites were destroyed forever. Yes, because he said, yes, we have a mighty God. He is a banner. Yes, we have Jesus Christ who is a banner, who is a Ishunasi. For every question, we have the answer. My presence will go with thee and I will give you rest. Exodus 33 verse 14. Yes, many times we do have our personal problems. We are unable to express it to anybody, isn't it? For Jesus Christ knows all our needs. He knows our past, present and future, beloved. The words are true, Isaiah 46 verse 10. From the beginning, he knows the end. Isaiah 46 verse 4 says, he will carry us. The words are true, beloved. He will carry us even in our gray hair and old age. Let us always praise his name and thank him. As we wake up in the morning, we see the birds are chirping. They are so tiny creatures. They are praising the Lord. So we are much more than that, isn't it? The words are true. Let us praise him. For the word says, he is our I am who I am. Exodus 3 verse 14. Yes, the words are true, beloved. Yes, the word says, let us praise him and thank him for everything, beloved. The words are true. As we read in Psalm 121, yes, the word says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Yes, behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is a keeper. The Lord is a shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in. From this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. The words are true, beloved. The word says, do not worry about tomorrow. As we read in Matthew chapter 6, yes, verse 34. And the word says, why take ye thought? The words are true, beloved. We have to just submit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. As we see a small child, yes, as he is in the arm of his loving father, loving mother. He does not worry anything. He knows his father is there. Similarly, we have a loving father with us. Yes, he is a loving father, beloved. And we are his clay and he is a potter. Isaiah 64, yes, verse 8. Isaiah 66 verse 13 says, He comforts us like loving mother. The words are true. The word says only believe, Mark 5, 
verse 36 yes i am his witness i want you also to taste and see the lord is good blessed is the man who trusts in him the words are true beloved yes there are myriads of angels surrounding you and me the words are true yes the angel of the lord encampeth around those that fear him and he delivers them the words are true as we read in psalm 34 verse 7 the words are true beloved yes also the word says in john 15 verse 7 when you abide in me and my words abide in you whatever you desire you will ask and i will give it the words are very simple very powerful yes the word says ask and you shall receive matthew 7 verse 8 the words are true yes beloved the words are true yes for it is a powerful word yes the word says fear not only believe the words are true beloved as we read the mighty word from mark 5 verse 36 this is the story of my life only believe the word has come true hallelujah yes for also he will bless you and me with wisdom my dear children as you are looking forward for your future prospects for your future academics and also for your future your ambitions in life jesus christ will bless you with wisdom he will give the wisdom to everybody yes for the word says in james 1 verse 5 if any of you lack wisdom let him ask god that give it to all men liberally and abrid it not and it shall be given to him the words are true beloved yes also as we see in deuteronomy 33 verse 27 the word says he comes riding on the heavens on the excellency of clouds to help you and me the words are true beloved yes and also we rebuke every satanic power to leave us in the name of Yeshua Masiha. the words are true for the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Yeshua Masiha. for every authority in heaven and earth belongs to him matthew 28 yes the bible is the book of good news it is the roadmap of life beloved yes you will find every answer for your question in the bible the word says god is speaking to you and to me draw near to me yes return to me and i will return to you as we read in zechariah 1 3 and malachi chapter 3 yes so we have to go boldly in his presence take a particular place particular time yes as we respect our general manager the boss the owner of the company we have to respect the king of kings the maker of heaven and earth our loving father also the word comes for the prisoners the word is speaking yes go forth and also for those who are in the dungeon who are in the darkness the word says show forth yourself isaiah 49 yes beloved the words in verse 9 yes so we encourage my dear brother my dear sister the word is there for everybody whether you're rich whether you're poor, whether you're lame, whether you're blind. For Jesus Christ came in this world, not for the righteous, but for sinners, for repentance. The words are true. He is the omnipotent God who reigns. Revelation 19 verse 6. The words are true, beloved. Yes, for he has all power and authority. What else do we require? We have a loving father with us. As we read in Isaiah 63, 64 yes we have everything for us we have to just seize the day for he is a salvation as we read in revelation chapter 7 verse 10 and revelation 7 verse 17 says he will wipe away our every tear he will lead us to the living waters he will be a shepherd the words are true the word says in psalm 23 verse 1 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want the words are true beloved yes we will not lack anything the words are true as we read in Deuteronomy 2 7. The word is asked, Did you lack anything? They said nothing. The words are true. The same word in Luke 22 35. The word is asked, Did you lack anything? The disciples said nothing. When we commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, we will not lack anything. The word is true, beloved. The word is proven. Hallelujah. Yes, for when we obey, we will have victory. As we read in Deuteronomy chapter 11 and the blessings of obedience we have in Deuteronomy 28. When we love him, when we obey his command, 
we when we seek him yes the word says we shall be the head and not the tail thou will bless my basket and we shall not borrow but lend to the nations the words are true beloved yes we will have the peace and the joy these things cannot be purchased with millions of dollars also isn't it jesus christ will bless us with the peace with the joy he is the prince of peace beloved and the joy of the lord is my strength nehemiah 8:10 yes let us wear the armor of god and be ready for the devil is prowling outside resist the devil and he will flee from you as we read in james 4 verse 7 Yes there's power in the word of God for the kingdom of God is not in the word but the power as we read in 1 Corinthians yes we read the mighty word in chapter 4 verse 20 yes for seek the kingdom of God and everything will be given to you the words are true as we read the mighty word in Luke 12 verse 31 yes everything is at hand beloved we have to just seize the day beloved yes for the word says we have to wear the armor of god let us wear it that is efficiency let us wear the armor of god yes it says yes in chapter 6 verse 11 the helmet of salvation breastplate of righteousness belt of truth the shield of faith the sword of the old testament new testament king james version bible the shoes or sandals of gospel of peace let us be ready yes beloved let the sword of the lord be in your hand and my hand judges 720 let it be there in your mouth and my mouth the sword of the lord that is as a 49 verse 2 it is the double edged sword which pierces through the soul yes that is the word of god the word is living the word is life as we read in john 6 verse 63 yes beloved the word is truth and it is life as we read in revelation 19 and also our living god jesus christ is the god of the living not the dead and all live to him the words are true as we read in luke chapter 20 verse 13 so everything is at hand beloved let us praise a living god yes for the lord is my shepherd and i shall not want the words are true psalm 23 read the bible keep your hand on the particular verse as jesus christ will speak to you yes beloved he speaks yes the dew comes not on a stormy night but when it is peaceful yes everything is peaceful similarly let us take a particular place read the bible yes and pray and fast if we have to as ezra 8:23 says we fasted we entreated a god and he answered our prayer he will answer your prayer hallelujah yes we read in 1 kings 3:13 yes a living god a loving father yes he asked king solomon yes what do you want we read in 1 kings 3 yes the words are true beloved as yes what do you want and he said wisdom and a loving and living father gave him not only wisdom but richness and honor also the words are true in 1 kings 3:13 similarly he will give us whatever is the requirement yes for he is a god of prosperity beloved the words are true as i 45:7 The word says I form light I create darkness I bring calamity I bring prosperity I am the Lord who does all these things yes he will send us prosperity the word says in Psalm 118 verse 25 send us prosperity now he will do it beloved there will be showers of blessing in your house my house Ezekiel 34:26 for the word says when we serve the Lord we will have prosperity all our days and pleasure all our years the words are true Job 36 verse 11 grab the blessings take the blessings keep your hand on the particular verse and receive the blessings yes beloved yes be persistent the word says yes bind the word continually around your heart as we read the mighty word it is speaking to you and to me yes from job 6 verse 21 and verse 22 yes when we sleep the word will keep us when we awake the word will speak to us and when we roam the word will guide us hallelujah word that is in the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word is god john 11 what is the word the word is jesus christ revelation 19 hallelujah be strong be courageous seize the day be victorious in life beloved yes be blessed today and every day yes arise and shine is a message for you and me as a 60 verse 1 
yes beloved do like and subscribe the channel arise and shine alfred rathod and family usa this is dr mrs alfred james rathod speaking for the channel as god has called me to be a prophetess evangelist and priest the confirmation of the divine call numbers chapter 17 yes and also as for me and my house we will serve the lord joshua 24 verse 15 what a living god has said will come true the prophecy for this year as we read in jeremiah 29 verse 11 the word says i know your thoughts i have plans of future hope prosperity peace and welfare for you and me yes beloved be encouraged and seize the day and be blessed today and every day remember he will not leave us alone he will not leave us as orphans the words are true as we read in john 14 verse 18 so you are not alone beloved jesus christ is there with you a loving god a living father is there with us yes rejoice as the word says 1 thessalonians 5:16 be blessed today and every day god bless you numbers chapter 6 verse 24 for all your prayer request do send us an email on the link which is given in the description the email id and as the lord is guiding you you can send us the tithes the free will offering as god is guiding you the link is given in the description yes god bless you as we have the mission for the blind jesus christ will bless you as you are being led by the holy spirit do give us the thanks offering as god guides you hallelujah god bless you and remember that he has blessed us with peace and strength as we read in psalm 29 verse 11 amen amen hallelujah amen